Swipe Up, episode 225, the podcast where I share my unfiltered thoughts on the latest news and entertainment updates. Some good news, right? Uh, Mr. Beast cures a thousand people, a uh, thousand people's blindness in a video, right? This guy, most popular YouTube creator on the planet, most followers, makes uh, tons of money does a lot of videos where he's like giving away tons of money and like crazy things to people who compete. I think he even set up a version of squid game before it was picked up as an actual show. Right. When the success of squid game happened, I think he, he set up kind of his own version of squid game to give away money. But one of his, th one of his things that he wants to do that he stated is that he wants to give all of his money away before he dies. Like he doesn't, want to, his money to be passed down to generations even though he has generational wealth uh so he does do good things which i think some people criticize him for using these good deeds as ways to get good views there's definitely a, that is kind of a trend in a lot of social media where people will be po get popular because they give away money right they donate money to just homeless people or somebody that just happens to help them out randomly they will surprise them with money and it's a good way to get views it's definitely heartwarming to see somebody be generous um and they criticize him for doing that like uh, which i don't care like as long as he's doing good like this is amazing so apparently so this youtube star mr beast real name is jimmy donaldson uh, sponsored cataract surgery for a thousand people who are blind or nearly blind but could not afford the surgery. Mr. Beast's latest video has received over 32 million views as of Sunday afternoon and features before and after footage of the patients after surgery. Uh, Mr. Beast worked with Jeff Levinson, an orth uh, ortho ophthalmologist, ophthalmologist and surgeon who to perform the first round of surgeries in Jacksonville, Florida. Jeff Levinson has coordinated the, quote, gift of sight, end quote, program for over 20 years, which provides free cataract surgery for uninsured patients. Half of all blindness in the world can be cured with a 10-minute surgery, which is cataract removal. Half of the people who are blind or mostly blind is due to cataracts and can be cured with a 10-minute surgery, right? Half of the people can be gain their sight back with a short, simple surgery. But we live in a capitalist society, so those people who can't afford it will stay blind, which is insane. So this is great, right? Jeff Levinson was inspired to help people access cataract surgery after undergoing his own cataract correction surgery. Jeff Levinson and Mr. Beast team, uh, team reached out to homeless shelters and free clinics to create a list of patients in the Jacksonville area who needed surgery. They eventually had a group of 40 patients and Jeff Levinson performed all of the surgeries in a single day. That's how easy it is. Holy shit. Uh, Jeff Levinson uh, connected Mr. B's team with C International, a nonprofit that provides free eye care to patients in need. Jeff Levinson hopes the video and Mr. B's generosity will inspire a concerted effort to end needless blindness. 100%. It is insane, right? We have these people with exponential amounts of money that they have zero use for and zero need to have but they hoard it like little spoiled children hoard this money to maintain some status to maintain their position on some pedestal where so many people think that they are more valuable to humanity because they've won some magical game of monetization they've collected the most points in the life of living the game of life and they are somehow more deserving of the money some people think that god is the one that bestowed them because they are such good 
people that that is why they have money and everybody that's poor is doing so because they are lazy or bad people, which is absolute disgusting and false. So I'm glad that Mr. Beast is doing this shit when not only Mr. Beast, but you have all of these tech billionaires, right? All of these people who over the past two years have doubled their wealth during the worst time in hu- one of the worst times in human history dealing with a pandemic where so many people are exponentially more worse off than they were three years ago. Meanwhile, these people that have zero need for this money have zero need to be multiple times over billionaires to be hoarding currency they could effortlessly do something like this they could effortlessly eradicate blindness in half of the blind people globally if they wanted to instantly wouldn't affect them would not have they wouldn't notice it would not notice it there are so many good things right i'm so tired of people saying that like all these simps, these billionaire simps, these billionaire bootlickers that are like, oh, Elon Musk is in save society. How? Doing what? Selling these cars that suck? That he didn't invent. He didn't start Tesla. He just sells Tesla. And by the way, what he's done with Twitter is a pretty good indication of how awful he is. And seeing how that is inf- affecting his stock prices with tesla it's just he is not like this person that people put on a pedestal he is not somebody that wants to do good for humanity he's not somebody that's going to take his little simp army with him to mars if he ever gets there with his little rocket ship company that is funded by the government right he's not trying to do anything good for all of these pathetic little simps that suck on his little bootstraps right he couldn't care less about those people he couldn't care less about people he wants more money more money he, that's all he wants he wants to stack money after money which is something that he's never had to consider he's never in his entire existence as a human being had to consider the cost of a thing because he comes from money he comes from parents who owned a gem mind during apartheid in South Africa. This dude has never had to look at the price of a thing and consider what that might mean to his bottom end. He spent $44 billion on a a product that is not profitable because he was just, he's got an ego that can barely fit inside of his little Teslas. You know? It's insane. Bezos... All of these people instantly could eradicate just so much suffering in the world effortlessly wouldn't even like it wouldn't even minus it would be such the minuscule fraction of their entire hoarded wealth. But they don't they don't want to do shit. They don't want to do shit. And it kind of sucks that even though Mr. Beast actually kind of doing good. Yeah, he profits off of it. Yeah, he's make he's literally making money off of the video that he funded, but fuck it, he did good. He did good. It's better than people who are making millions of dollars playing video games, right? At least Mr. Beast is like helping people. Sure, turn philanthropy into entertainment. Fucking do it. Make reality shows about how people go out and make life better for people rather than having reality shows where moms compete with other moms to date younger men who are the sons of their competitors, right? Like instead of making garbage entertainment like that, make reality shows where you bring people in to do these amazing things for people where they actually make a positive change in real reality. But then you have Mr. Beast, who also is a somebody who's a fan, I'm sure, of Elon Musk, who's had conversations with Elon, who's asked f- to be the CEO of Twitter, which I would assume Mr. Beast would probably do a better job 
on some level than Elon Musk because I don't think Elon Musk really cares. I don't think he cares at all. He, the thing he loves about Twitter is that it's effective at controlling people. It is an information technology, and he wants to control information. He's already used Twitter to manipulate prices of stocks in order to make investments, in order to tank prices so he can get a good deal when he buys it, and then he pumps them up so he can sell it at a high price. Like he's been doing, it's like it's, it's there's examples of that all over the place, allegedly, right? So I don't know. Good for Mr. Beast. Hopefully he does more like this, right? I'm I'm good with that. Hopefully he doesn't turn into like, you know, it's 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 one thing to say you want to do good things, right? Just fucking Elon Musk has said a lot of things that he wants to be this good person, that he is doing these good things. He he's the Tesla is a car that he believes in because he thinks it's going to make everything safer, despite the fact that the build quality on those cars is garbage, despite the fact that they malfunction seemingly a lot, right? I don't know, but that's good news. I'm glad. It's insane that a procedure that takes 10 minutes can cure blindness in half of the people that are blind. It's insane. It is insane we live in a time where money is like capitalism is so like such a broken system, such a garbage system to run civilizations, right? It is a system that people can manipulate in order to hoard money. It is not a system that benefits people at all. It is it is a system that only works when people are losing, when the majority of people are losing. And when something like this, a 10-minute procedure, can be done to fix half of the blind people, to restore sight in half of them, is insanity. So good on Mr. Beast. Hopefully, hopefully more people do that same thing, right? Instead of just like donating to some charity that's really just some tax write-off, and it's like a fraction of a fraction of a fraction of what their net worth is, right? It's some PR thing for them to like, oh, donate $100 million to charity, blah, 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 that I happen to own, and then I will decide what that money goes, right? It's just a tax shelter, right? Actually doing change. New episodes of The Ray Taylor Show come out every single day. Subscribe on YouTube and everywhere our podcasts are found. Binge the full week over at InspiredDisorder.com slash plus. Buy Ray Taylor Show merch over at InspiredDisorder.com. Have a wonderful day, everybody. Peace. Out! Today is the day where you wake up and you realize that everything that you've been dreaming about, everything that you've been wanting, every goal and wish and hope that you've ever had can become real. Dreams can come true. What you manifest in your mind, you can bring to reality.